Hello guys, welcome to my second tutorial. We are going to do a SNES controller, so at first we insert the reference. Then we we have to create this shape with the spline and line tools. So I, I choose the plane to create the, the line and spline and then just have to create the best possible shape I can. Just move it and adjust, adjust it. And I'm using some Philips to create a better shape. Then when we finalize, we create an extrusion. I, we press letter Q and just extrude it. Then I'm creating the holes with the cylinder. Here I'm creating the buttons. First I create one with an extrusion and cut it. Then I'm, I press M to move it. Then I create the button, just a cylinder and then I create a fillet. Here again, I'm creating a cylinder and cut it. And we're going to do the same for these four buttons. This and finally the last one. Then we have all the holes. Just need to copy and paste this body in all the holes. Just move it, copy and paste and move it in the right position. Then I want to create these shapes. I create a offset and then I make a hole with the extrusion. Then again, we use the same tool. Then the offset and we press Q to extrude it. Now I want to create this shape. Again, the same tool. We cut it. Then we create a chamfer. Here I'm trying to adjust in the best possible way, so it takes me a little bit. Then I want to copy and paste these faces. I create a line because I want to use as a path. So I use as a path and then just move it. I select two as a quantity. I turn off the sketches to create a new one. And now I'm, I'm finally creating this shape. And this shape becomes very easy to do because we just need to create this sketch shape and then offset and we have and we will have all I'm creating a fillet for all these parts and as I say we create a offset now we have everything just select and extrude it to make the hole. 
then select this sketch to create the button. We create a fillet. Now I create this these shapes. I'm using the Philip tool. Then just extrude it and cut it. Then I create a fillet all at the same time. Then in this part, uh, we can do it in two ways. Here I'm using a cylinder, but you can use a sphere to, to cut it. You could use combine and then cut it. I use a sphere as a, as a tool and make the hole. Like I'm using a cylinder. Now here I'm creating an offset just with the sketch I created before. But probably you will want to create another sketch. But this way is also possible. Then I'm just adjusting the faces with the letter Q and move it the body. I'm creating a fillet and copy and paste to move this body to the to another shape. Here I'm just adjusting the faces. I select the face and then I press Q to move it. I'm creating a fillet. Just little parts to make to make this design better. Now here I forget to create this hole. So here I have a problem because I have a sketch on, so I need to turn it off and then create it again. And here I do this and now I can create this sketch. I create his, his offset. Now I press Q and make a cut. Now we are almost over, just adjusting some parts and just moving these faces. Then I want to create these last buttons. I use the line and the spline tool to create these ones. I switch between line and spline. L for spline, I mean for line. Then just adjust it with the fillet. I have to be very careful for no breaking this, these lines. Now here I just complete this last one and create a fillet. I select both and create an extrusion with letter Q. Then I just select these bodies and press M to move it. Now I'm using the fillet. I'm editing the sketch because I want this more with a round form. I want this more rounded, so just click and edit a sketch. Now for the last part, I need to create the holes for this bottom, so I create a rectangle in this plane. I 
I create in this buff. I select them and press Q to strip them and creating this cut. But I edit these sketches because I want to fill it this corner so here here and with this we just finish to model this SNES controller. I realize I need to select the right objects to cut so I edit a future and select only body one to cut it and press ok and that's it we just finished to model this